Hello, today I'm going to do a tutorial on bots on SRB2 JTE. Now, as you know, you cannot, or may not know, you cannot use bots on single player except for the Tails bot automatically included. You'll have to use it on multiplayer. Do not advertise your server on JTE because I believe you can get banned for using JTE on the master server. So, now on to learning bots. I'll use co-op on easy just to show you how to place bots. Green flower zone. Now the first thing to do is to know how to open your console. To do that you have to pause or do this in the main menu. Go to your options, set up controls, play, select player one controls, and once you're in player one controls go to next at the bottom of the page select console and set the key you wish to use for it I use control and there you have it so once you know how to get into your console push your console button and this is your console it's just a green thing with lots of letters on it all you have to do to add a bot is type in add bot that's add bot with no space between add and bot then you put a space after add bot and then the name of the bot you wish to place for instance tails is the skin that you if you I want to use right here and it will add a bot that uses tails they will the bots will spin dash and jump when you do they'll follow you around on co-op and they can collect items if you lose rings they'll collect those and they can destroy enemies so all together they're pretty useful see like they can spin dash with you Th having a lot of bots you can spin dash them all over the place and stuff and they can be pretty useful for but they're mostly just for fun to have somebody else follow you around now Bots can also be used in other modes of the game, as I'll show you in a minute, but for now I'm also going to add Knuckles. I'm also going to show you how to add, change their color and their name. First you type in add bot, as you always do. Then you put the space and then the skin Knuckles. But we don't want to make Knuckles red, so after typing the skin name, we put a space and put um, purple, because we want this to be hyper Knuckles. So we're going to make him purple. And then after you put the na the color, you put a space and then you can name the bot. We'll name him Hyper Knuckles since that's what we're trying to make here. Once you've put your add bot knuckles purple hyper knuckles in that order, skin name, color, and then bot name, he'll hit enter and he will appear just as the other ones do. And there you have it, there's Hyper Knuckles. Now, bots on single player can do all the things I told you, but they're actually, or on um, co op, but they're actually more fun to use if you use them on modes such as match mode, capture the flag, and other modes like that. So you can go into multiplayer, select network options, change match type, and go to match and choose a level. I'm going to go to my favorite level, which is the Thunder Citadel Zone. In match mode, your bots will act pretty much like players do. They'll jump around and collect items, and they will try to um, hit you with their tossable little red rings. They can rack up points in the same way and they even appear on the score list with their names and everything. So it's pretty much like having players which is great if you can't get online. They're not quite as smart but sometimes they're actually more challenging in the fact that they're completely random. You can kick bots too and seeing as Knuckles won't quit shooting me I'm going to have to kick both of them anyways because I want to show you capture the flag. So you just say kick and the name of the bot. Not the skin name, but the name. For instance, Hyper Knuckles. And this works just like how you kick players. And the reason I have to kick them to show you capture the flag is because bots in capture the flag, if they're not red or blue, the capture the flag colors, will cause the game to glitch. So I just have to finish kicking tails.
kick Tails bot. You only have to put bot on the end if that's part of his name, and it was Tails bot. So now I go to capture the flag. I'll go to my favorite capture the flag level, which is Iron Turret Zone. And you have to add them by team color, not the color you want the character to be, because they have to be red or blue to be on the teams, or else it'll choose automatically and you might end up with them on the wrong team. So add bot, shadow, red, shadow. So shadow's on the red team. I put him there because that makes his stripe red on his stripes and shoes red on him like they're supposed to be. And he'll hop around, he'll collect items, he may even try to get the flag. And that's fun and all, but it's only really fun when you get a lot of bots going at once. So add bot, Scoo Tails Doll, don't ask me why there's a Scoo, but that's his skin name so I have to use that. And then I'll set the color. I want him to be on the blue team. And then I'm going to just name him Tails Doll. I hit enter and now he's on the other team. See there he is on the score list. And that gives somebody for Shadow to play with. Now I'm going to add a few more bots. I'm going to add a Knuckles on the red team. Add bot knuckles, red knuckles. And now I'm going to add a tails on the red team. Add bot tails, red tails. And I'm going to add a sonic on the blue team. Add bot sonic, blue, sonic. Now, there we have it. They're all on the scoreboard. They can all run around and fight, capture flags, all that. I made it uneven because I'm going to join the blue team. As soon as I fix myself, because I'm always a hedgehog, and somehow I ended up Tails doll. I always play a hedgehog because their abilities I find very useful and easy to use. I'm not saying they're the best, I'm just saying that's what I like. Um, there we go, I joined the blue team. And now I'll show you a little bit of their, their combat skills on... of combating bots on Capture the Flag. Here's Tails. Oh, I missed him. They can actually avoid pretty well due to their random maneuvers they make. There went Shadow. And, ooh, I got Tails. And he got me back. Alright, so that's just about all you can do with Capture the Flag with bots. So I'm going to show you one last thing. I was about to end this video, but I almost forgot. They're also really fun to play with on race mode. Sadly, they will not actually race you, but they will run around the level randomly destroying enemies and collecting items, and it's pretty fun anyways. The only problem is, is they will randomly vanish after a minute or two. I think they all just end up getting stuck when there's nothing left to do. But there they go. So they run off, they collect items, destroy enemies. There went Tails Doll, destroyed that. Tails just collected that box, warping me here. And so, that's about all I have to show you. As I s later on, I'm going to make more videos about how to. I'm going to make more videos like about how to use the item placement features and many different console commands and stuff and eventually maybe make some stuff that doesn't have to do with SRB2 but for now that's all and hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching <laughs> oh, was my mic on? Sorry.